beer. It is a beverage. It's spelled with four letters, and by now you guys should probably know that I kind of love it. Well, I don't know why I would expect that. I've only had one or two videos of me drinking anything on this channel, but it's about to be three. So, um, let's go ahead. So, I was walking around um, my local Browdies, um, trying to figure out, you know, what, you know, is an interesting drink I could probably try. Um, and I happened across something that I saw and I nerded out about, and I just told myself, I need to get this, I need to try it. I just, I have to. If I don't, I'll be so disappointed with myself that I didn't that I won't even care that I didn't waste money. So, um, anyways, I was walking by uh, all the be uh, the beers on the shelves. That is usually where they had, put, not hide, but put the more mm, interesting stuff that not everyone is, yeah, it's more for more craft uh, type deals. Anyways, so I was just walking by and I saw this tall black bottle and it just so happened to be a Game of Thrones um, for uh, Game of Thrones for the throne right there. It is a golden ale Okay, fermented with Pinot Grigio and I can't pronounce that uh, grape juice so basically um, similar types of grapes that what they use for those particular types of wines um, It is and I just picked it up I was like because I'm a huge fan of Game of Thrones I love beer and so it just fit together um, and I told myself, I'm just gonna pick it up, I have to. Um, so before we get into drinking it, uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about it. It has an ABV of 9.5, which is pretty high for a beer, so I imagine this is gonna be uh, pretty strong. I think Guinness writes in at like a 6 or, or 7. Um, editor. Wait, that's me. Hey, me, myself, go ahead and put the number up there, or forget about it, and this will just be an awkward segment of the video. Um, yeah says to serve at about 40 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so that should be about right once I pour it into the cup. Um, it is made by the Omegang, that's O-M-M-E-J-E-G-A-N-G, -E -E um, established in 1997. I'm pretty sure this is a whole company that just did this Game of Thrones sponsored um, beverage, so... I don't know what else they make. I don't know if it's even going to taste good. I hope that it will. I don't know if it's going to taste any different from any other beers or ales that they may actually produce. So let's go ahead and find out. Now, I told myself, well, when am I going to drink this? It's like, well, I have a few glasses. It's like I have my Guinness Pine glasses, which are some of my favorite uh, glasses. The first pine glasses I actually picked up. I told myself that these are Guinness Pine glasses. If I put a beer or any kind of beverage into them that wasn't Guinness, I have to punish myself, and I really don't feel like doing that again. So I told myself, well, um, I could just put it into my other pint glass, um, which is an Apex Legends glass. I can't remember the style, but I do like this kind. And I said, well, that's good, but it's not gonna make me feel like I'm in Game of Thrones. It's not gonna make me feel different or special. This is an ale. This is Night's Watch fodder. This is something that's going to make have me cross from the border from a whelp all into the Night's Watch, and I had to have something. I had to have something that made me feel like I belong. So I wasted more money buying myself um, an actual tankard, an uh, ale horn tankard, or whatever you want to call it. Picked it up off of Amazon. Um, more expensive than you might spend a normal glass, but if you're a nerd like me, it's perfectly worth it. And it's even engraved. It's got my channel name on it which is cool for me, but maybe weird for certain people, but I don't care about those people because I finally have one. I've actually been wanting to buy one for a while, and this is the perfect excuse for me to convince myself to waste the money on it. So let's go ahead and pop this thing open. Um, so 750 milliliters, that's little, yeah, that's about a pint and a half. So this probably isn't something meant for an individual. This is probably meant for a couple of people to share, but this is really, only, but this is really only maybe a um, two or three beers worth. So it's not really anything crazy. It's got like a whole, it's got like a whole champagne setup. I don't know if it's as under as much pressure as champagne. Let's go ahead and it is apparently. So be very careful when opening this.
on my coffee, which is another video. Crap. Ow! My elbow! Ah! Hi, we are back after that quick delay. Alright, so maybe I should be more careful with my pour, because I have quite a bit of head on that. It's a cool mug, but I can't really see where it is, so... I had to put a little bit in my mouth, just so it wouldn't spill over the floor. And get a little bit more... I want it to die down because I want my first sip to be, you know, have a good flavor. Because if I just drink the suds, then it's going to taste, well, it'll taste good, but it won't taste right. Alright, I have kept adding little bits of beer to it as it slowly died down. And I haven't wiped up my floor. Uh, I have a million of these things laying around. I'm sure we all do at this point. I'm gonna stop adding beer because it's just gonna keep foaming up. I should have been more careful about that. Just to hold, I'm breaking my own rule. I'm gonna do it right now. See, watch. Well, it's quite a bit. I mean, that's gotta be. <sighs> well over a pint. Actually, I almost got the entire amount in there. So let's go ahead and taste the Game of Thrones themed golden ale out of my brand new horn mug. <sighs> Wish me luck. Hmm, that's pretty good. I gotta say, that's pretty damn good, actually. I mean, it almost doesn't taste like an ale at all because it's made with grape uh, juices. Now, I should probably point out, um, I've had ales, but I mostly had like IPAs and APAs, and never had a golden ale before. So, I don't know if this is supposed to taste like it, but it tastes almost more like a wine. It tastes like, it tastes like a beer, you know, made with beer yeast and some of the grain, but also definitely, definitely wine, which makes sense since it uses like wine grapes to make itself. I do actually like it though, it's not that bad. And now that my palate's adjusting a little bit, there's no bitterness. Um, some people drink ales, uh, specifically IPAs and whatnot, because they like they like that hoppy bitterness that kind of hits them uh, directly and then dissipates to a good aftertaste. Look at me pretending like I know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't. Um, but I have. But this isn't that bitter. So if you're looking for a more hoppy beer, this isn't it. It is good though. I mean, obviously it's meant to be like a fun little thing, maybe not even to be open, just to be bought and uh, put on a shelf somewhere. Cause it's, it's, a, it's a TV show sponsored beverage. It's also a really big one. Um, once again, you definitely, definitely should be ha probably having this, you know, with a friend or two, maybe you find some other Game of Thrones nerds or just people that uh, also enjoy, you know, a good beer. I think I'm ruined. I think every time I have an ale or a mead, especially, it's gonna be have to be out of this mug, especially when I'm trying it for the channel. You guys should get used to a lot of this. I mean, I bothered to have it embroidered with my channel name. For now, once again, I want to keep stressing this that well, I have had I've had more than probably quite a few people out there around my age because most of them will have one or two that they try and just keep drinking that. So I've had more than a lot of my friends. Okay, no, I'm not gonna say that. Because I actually don't know, I haven't asked, and I don't want to generalize. But I will say that I've had... I was going to say that I've had a few different types of beer and just ended up that. So while I have experimented a little bit with different alcohols here and there, I have... I've only been 21 for less than a year. Um, and I'm not saying I drink before I was 21, but I'm just saying if I had, then obviously it's not really a good time to experiment because your friends aren't going to, if they're breaking the law, which they shouldn't, because I certainly never did know, never allowed it. <laughs> That's stupid. But the point is most uh, teenagers don't really care about trying new beers or whiskeys. They care about buying the cheapest vodka and seeing how many shots they could do while playing Cards Against Humanity. At least that's what we did. <laughs> um, but this is good. 
I would buy this again and drink it. This is a lot. Like, this isn't... Once I keep stressing, because this is a full 750 milliliters. It's your standard, like, full-size um, bottle of vodka or liquor. A uh, handle. No, a fifth, I believe, is what they actually call it. Yeah, so this definitely isn't the type of thing if you just want to have a beer with yourself. Because if you pour just enough for a standard glass or a pint, you're going to have, like, half of it left over. Um, and then it's just going to go flat, because... <laughs> it's, you know, just like a champagne or any beer, really, it goes flat after a while. So this is the type of thing that you want to buy, drink, plan on drinking it between a few people. Because all by yourself, that's just crazy. Luckily, I am crazy. Um, if I buy another one of these, I'm probably going to share with my brother or maybe one of my other friends that are interested in uh, trying new different alcohols. If you're a big fan of Game of Thrones, I recommend you at least uh, see if your local store happens to carry this and buy one and just put it on a shelf and never touch it, ever. Um, but that's all I really got about to say about it. Um, I really wish I had the insight to provide more detailed notes, which I'm going to try to pass along as I continue to try and develop my palate more and more. All I can say right now is that it's not as bitter as other IPAs that I've had, which is could be a good or bad thing depending on your taste. Um, it's definitely taste, you can definitely taste the wine juice or grape juice influence in it, but it still is distinctly a beer in my opinion. If you see this and you're worried that it's a gimmicky, oh Game of Thrones is probably not that good at all, don't think that because this is definitely good. Um, it does taste good to me, so don't think that it's going to taste bad or gimmicky or, you know, uh, I don't use the word generic, it might be kind of, I don't really know. Um, but if you see this, pick it up, you know, it's a fun little thing, and don't, why don't you go ahead and get yourself a horn mug, and, uh, alright, why don't you go ahead and subscribe, and, uh, while you're doing that, why don't you also check out my Twitch, um, because I'm gonna try to start, uh, doing more video game stuff. Oh, and you know what's really cool is that I'm also on Twitter, and I have, um, a Instagram, and because I'm the only person with a name, Sand of Unity, it's just all that, all just one word. Yeah, so why don't you do that? And I will see you guys next time. If you guys have any um, other drinks or products that you would like me to uh, check out, go feel free to um, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, I'll look into it. Um, I'll probably, you know, unless there's a huge list, which there probably won't be, um, I'll probably eventually get around to trying at least a few of them, so you never know. I might even mention your tagline and all other two people that watch these videos might even actually subscribe to you as well. Oh, and I don't think I've been saying this, but I should. Um, always drink responsibly. Always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive, okay? Um, if you're going out with your friends or whatever, make sure that there's a DD in the group. Or, I mean, maybe, or if you want to drink and you still plan on driving, I don't know. Hopefully you're hanging out for a few hours, but do not drive if you're tipsy. Even even if you're just a little buzz, don't do it. It's very dangerous. It's not worth the risk. Trust me about that. Go to IHOP or something and sober up, which you can't do in a pandemic because they're not open 24-7 or whatever, <laughs> but just be safe, okay? And everyone, just be safe out there and... Um, no, that's about it, actually.